Uh, hi there, uh, this is Miles from Light Harvest Solar, and I wanted to show you uh, the Bluetti EP500 power station. Uh, so this is a, a super duper duper good unit for something like a cabin, uh, where you can kind of roll it in, put it in place, and call it good. Um, any kind of a shed, any kind of a shipping container, anything um, like that that you're maybe not quite so applicable to uh, vehicles, but um, any kind of yurt, any kind of cabin, any kind of anything like that, they work great for. So let me tell you a little bit about uh, the features and benefits of uh, this particular unit. So first off, um, first and foremost, the one of the really good things about it, it's got a 5.1 kilowatt hour lithium battery, which is uh, a big a big battery and an expensive battery too. So what these do is put all the components together and offer you a really good value in terms of price. And these in particular, uh, we overstocked on these. We've got a lot of them. We are um, selling them for a really good deal and uh, they, they do a good job. So what we have here is a 500, I'm sorry, 5.1 kilowatt hour lithium iron phosphate battery bank. Um, I believe it's 1200 watt solar input, which is really important also because that's a, that's a really uh, high number uh, for a, a portable plug and play. Right. So you just plug the solar right into this and you start charging. Uh, you really have to do a very limited amount of wiring to do it. Uh, and that's what makes these so nice. What we have here is a touch screen. Um, we've got, you turn your alternating current on right there. You turn your direct current on right there. Uh, we've got four screens. It's going to tell you your PV, that's your photovoltaic, which is your solar input. This here is going to be your power going out. This is going to, oh, I'm sorry, this not, this is, you can plug this in to any outlet to charge it, right? Or a generator, which is, uh, comes in really handy. That's going to tell you exactly how much is going in. Uh, this here is your DC load. That's how much is coming out of it uh, on the DC side. And this is your AC load, which is how much is coming out on your AC side. So your standard house plugs. Right here, we have a bunch of different settings that do a bunch of different stuff. Um, and you can play with that all you want. Standard power button. We have some uh, wireless uh, phone charging, which comes in really handy. You just set your phone down there and it happens. Here's your DC power. Uh, this is up to 30 amps of DC, 12 volt DC out. Um, here is a cigarette lighter out for any time you would need that. We've got two of uh, these connectors that are, I think are 10 amps. Um, and then we've got some, a bunch of USBs and we got a USB-C to charge your phone. And that, those are fairly high rate chargers and, and, uh, that works really good. So let me, let's, uh, we got, we're on wheels here, which is nice. It's easy to move around. Let's go ahead and show you the front. Here's your, um, alternating current, uh, house plugs that come out. There's four of those. Uh, you can wire them into your hardwired house if you want to. Uh, here's your inputs. Basically, that you've got your uh, this is your plug for your when you want to plug it into a generator or some other house power. Uh, and mind you, these make really good backup systems for if your power goes out. You can just plug it into your house when the power is running. It charge keeps it full. And then when if your power goes out, you just pull this out and start turning on your power here. Uh, this is your um, solar input right here uh, and it's got a wide voltage range 55 to 145 you have to be a little bit cognizant of the 55 volt um, 55 volt lower end because not that many single panels put out 55 volts so you end up almost having to put panels in series in order to get above that 55 volts uh, so keep that in mind this is some sort of an interface I have not played around with it much let's flip it around to the back there's not a lot going on here, except for uh, you got some nice handles and then you've got a, a main breaker. We got some casters that will lock right here um, and a fan. So if you are, uh, you know, those are the features of this. Like I said, completely plug and play. And um, if you have any kind of a cabin, if you have any kind of a tiny home, if you have any kind of a container or anything like that, this is a great unit. You can put a lot of solar into it. It's a really good price. They've been very reliable for us, and uh, we have a ton of them. So come get one. Uh, Light Harvest Solar.